According to local folklore, Kransa as a state was established by Nkokra Miensa, three old men. Nkransa South was carved out of the Nkransa district in February 2008 and later upgraded to a municipality status in May 2012 by LI 2089. It covers a total land area of 923 square kilometers. The municipality, according to the 2010 Population and Housing Census, has a population of 100,929. It shares boundaries with Nkransa North District to the north, the Tichima Municipality to the west, both in the Bunahaf region, the Adras Echidumasi to the southeast, and the Ofenso North District to the south, both in the Ashanti region. The Nkransa South Municipality consists mainly of the Bunos and a few other ethnic groups, mainly from the northern region. The main economic activity is agriculture and related activities. The major crops cultivated include maize, yam, cashew, cassava, groundnuts, watermelon, mangoes, onion, and vegetables. However, maize, yam, and watermelon are most cultivated in the municipality. Assembly has 29 elected assembly members and 13 government appointees and one member of parliament who represents the Nkwanza South constituency in parliament. The constituency has seen major development in the areas of roads as well as the fixing of traffic lights under the tenure of the current member of parliament, Imano Kujaji Kum, who is also a deputy minister of local government. Projects notwithstanding, some residents in the Nkransa South constituency were used to save with the collapsed microfinance institutions, including DKM, Jasta Motors, and Goddess Love, say their economic livelihood has been affected. We feel that the government is with a hand in all those things that happened. They came with certification from Bank of Ghana. When they got to town to, they proceeded to the assembly to be certified. Aside of that, they were giving police. Aside of that, they were giving police to protect them. Indeed, we are convinced that they have been certified by the government. So we all followed. We took in to invest our monies. At the end of the day, one day we woke up in the morning and we were told that their accounts had been frozen. And for that matter, our money, even our, our deposit, are not being going to, I mean, be given back to us. We tried every means possible. And all that we are saying is that the government, as a matter of agency, should treat this issue as an uh, uh, emergency issue and come down to pay our monies for us. We, we, are, we are seriously in need of our monies. Why do we say so? Because as recent as just last month, the Muntia Theory were released. So we feel that the government, and for that matter, the president, is with all the powers to pay back our, our monies to us. Every <laughs> say. Sani young girl, follow that dad. I am just a sicker. Say I am a sicker. I am a tour. Now every boss me me enu. I have my mum who interest. Now most of the affairs of baby. I have the name of the ashamu mesuku. I am a dad. I am a just a sicker. I am a tour. I have a friend. 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 Many people have died as a result. Some are lying in hospital beds and cannot afford their medical bills. The NHIS is not working. Our children are also out of school. If we do not get our money back, we will not vote. The political history of the Kwanzaa South constituency has been very dynamic, making it difficult to predict voting patterns. Over the years, 
there has always been what they call skirt and blouse results here because the presidential seat has always favored the NDC while the parliamentary has been swinging between the NDC and the NPP until 2012 when both presidential and parliamentary went in the favor of the NDC. But this time around, things have changed. The people have been sorted to other means apart from the principal in demand for some assistance from the government. Due to that, they did not vote in the district assembly elections. But how different is it going to be as the spirit battles with the physical? We find out as we speak to some questions. Electorates in Nkranza South affected by the microfinance crisis stressed their responsiveness to their grievances well informed their choice in this year's elections. We don't have assembly members because we boycotted the district assembly elections and we will do same come December 7. We will not go to the polls on empty tummies. We have also placed a curse on politicians not to campaign in our area, and if they do, they will have the guts to deal with. The December general elections are weeks away, and if we don't receive our money before the elections, John Mahama will lose in this constituency. No money! No money! No money! No